Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So, another Ameritron AL80B here. So, customer said, power switch failed a while back. Uh, well, first, you every time we turn it on, it would spark, and then it finally just got stuck on. So, I checked the... Soft start relay and it is fused closed. So I'm going to replace that. Resistor is good. Fuse is good. So the center tap of the filament transformer was never soldered to the board. So he said he cleaned this with some contact cleaner and it stopped working. So then he used a brush to brush it out. He thought it had to do with the contact cleaner, but I think he, I think it was just a coincidence. He probably brushed the wire out of the hole. So I'll solder that in. There was an arc on the uh, plate tune air variable capacitor. I already, I already cleaned that and used some denatured alcohol um, after. He was like a nail file, like a really, really fine grit one. Polish it and then... Sometimes it'll work. This one just had a little spot. The edges were okay. No damage there or anything. So um, I'll clean off some of that residue from the contact cleaner that's left. I'll use some denatured alcohol. Uh, needs new SO239 connectors. The one on the input side really doesn't have good grip on a new PL259. I'll clean the Band switch slash rotary switch with deoxy gold, the input one with deoxy gold, ground the grids right to the metal, change the gas discharge tubes, and uh, tighten up on hardware and do whatever else that needs to be done. So, Meritron swapped over from using an open frame relays to these sealed ones. So, I don't have one of these, I'll have to order it. I have a whole bunch of these but not this one. So stay tuned and I'll be back. And this is this is getting a brand new Pentalabs 3500Z. Awesome company, awesome customer service. So it's been a long day. It's almost 10 o'clock tonight uh, at night here. I'm tired. I get up early. So I will see you guys soon. Back to work tomorrow. I'll be working on a 922. So these videos won't be in order. Um, 922 will end up probably being on before this one, unless that one needs a bunch of stuff, as, as in parts, you know, parts wise. But okay, so see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so the parts arrived from Ameritron. Took the old relay out. Be careful, this is a double-sided board, so I carefully cut it apart and remove it without damaging the traces. So I'm going to go ahead and install the new one and the new switch, and I'll be back. See you guys soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL80B. I'll go over everything I did real quick. So got a brand new Pentalab tube awesome company awesome customer service just great people over there grounded the grids right to the metal here change the gas discharge tubes tighten up on a bunch of hardware he had tried cleaning the boards off with some sort of cleaner that left the residue so I cleaned that off touched up on solder joints the center tap for the filament winding wasn't soldered to the board so I, at all I had no solder on the wire or the board trace so I put it through the hole soldered it changed the SO239 connectors replaced the soft start relay like I showed before check the meter protection diode touched up on more solder joints on this side put a brand new power switch in that's all set. Checked it on all bands. That's about it.
So, one other thing, the plate side had a little dot on it where it had arced, so I cleaned that off, and then I used, uh, I used like a um, really fine nail file to clean it, and polished it, and then used denatured alcohol to get rid of the residue, so, it's all set. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. Lots more amps to do. 73.